Greetings Car Fanatics, today I'm at Arizona Motorsports Park where I'm at my very first track day. So the process is pretty simple, you register online, you get track day insurance if you want that coverage, and then you just show up and make sure your car is in pretty good shape. So when you get there, you're going to start by signing in, and then you're going to have to go through a tech inspection to make sure your car is all good to go. After that, you want to pull into the paddock area, find a spot to park your car, and then you want to take everything out of your car that's going to be loose, that way you don't have things flying around as you're driving. And then from there it really leads into the first driver's briefing where they talk about all the safety instructions you have to follow, all the different rules or the flags and stuff like that. And then they split you up into your different driving groups. For me, I'm in the first time group which actually has a lot of classroom instruction. And this is really great so I can understand the basics of being safe on the track and driving techniques. Now it's time to get on the track, but before we do that, I want to make sure my wheel bolts are tight and that my tires are filled to the correct pressure. Now we're ready to get going and I have my driving instructor driving my car and showing me around the track. While he's doing this, I'm just really focused on learning the track, learning the lines, and learning basic track safety. This is a great way to get introduced to the track while being safe. So the first thing I learned is you really want to find the line on the course. You want to be looking ahead, that way you can start planning for that and all your inputs should be very smooth. Once you start to drive the course consistently, you can start fine tuning where you're getting on the brakes and where you're applying power while staying on your racing line. Alright, now it's my turn to be in the driver's seat and I have to say I'm really nervous. So in my very first 20 minute session, I'm just driving the track, trying to learn the lines. I'm staying in fourth gear the entire time, but the first session is really about just getting familiar with your vehicle, the track, and the racing line. I have to say that in your very first session, you're going to be overloaded with information and a lot of things you need to coordinate. I can definitely see why people say PDK is going to make a faster track car because you don't have to worry about rowing your own gears. In my case, it made it really simple that I could drive the car in fourth gear without having to worry about shifting, but once I started to try to throw shifting in, it definitely made it a lot harder to focus on the road. So for most of the day, I'm going to be spending the car in third or fourth gear. So after my first two sessions, I definitely feel more comfortable with the track and the car. Now I'm actually going to try to chase down this Porsche Cayman. Now I'm going to try to keep up with this Ferrari 488. It's got 660 horsepower, so way more than my car, but we are all in the beginner's group, so you never know. So the driver of the Ferrari isn't very aggressive, I'm able to keep up and catch him in the corners, but when I try to power out of these corners without being able to downshift to the right gear, it makes the power deficit between the two cars even bigger, so I really have a hard time keeping up with the Ferrari in the straights.
checkered flag, this means it's time to cool it down and bring it in. All right, this is my very last session. Time to take it easy. Well, go figure. We got an M3 on our ass. I guess we shouldn't expect anything less from a BMW driver. Alright, we're all done for the day and this was a blast. I did five 20 minute sessions and I ran the car pretty hard. I almost used up a full tank of gas. Let's go ahead and just check on our tires and brakes to see how much wear and tear we have in the car. So my tires look in really good condition still. I started the event with about 70% of the tread on the tires and I still say I probably have about 50% or more tread left. So I think it didn't wear out my tires that badly which I'm pretty surprised. I think I could get another one or two track day sessions on the tires. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the brakes. It might be hard to see the brake pads here, but you can see that they have plenty of meat left and overall the rotors too look in really good condition. So overall I'd say the wear and tear just from this one track day wasn't actually that bad. It was a lot better than I expected. Alright Car Fanatics, I hope you enjoyed our very first track day. So let me share some of my thoughts. So I think after doing just autocross with the 997, I kind of developed this impression that the 997 actually wasn't that agile, the balance wasn't that great. But taking the car to the track, everything is really completely different. This car does amazing on the track. I think it's much better suited on the track than it is for the autocross. And the car just performed phenomenally. It had a ton of grip, it had more than enough brakes. Even the four and a half year old Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires did a great job. Overall, I just have this newfound respect for the 997. I think it did a great job on the track and I had a blast. I'm definitely planning to do a few more. Well, thanks for watching Car Fanatics. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Leave me comments or questions below. Be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you're notified each time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.